Ah, my app dice. Ever since April, they've really called around all over the world. And thanks to special people like Tim Vandeval at Vandeval.com, there's been plenty of templates to help create all these wonderful types of app dice, which have apps on each side, and when you roll them, you create an app smash. What is an app smash, you say? App smash is when you take two or more apps and combine them together to make a lesson or project. Craig Bandura over at comfortably 2.0 and on Twitter Mr. Bandura have been talking about app smashing constantly on the website and for his students to make amazing projects and lessons. What some people don't know is actually app smashing is actually based off of the SMAR model. What is the SMAR model you might ask? Well SMAR stands for substitution, augmentation, modification, and redefinition. S, substitution, tech acts as a direct tool substitute with no functional change. Augmentation, tech acts as a direct tool substitute with functional improvement. Modification, tech allows for, for significant task redesign. And redefinition, tech allows for creation of new tasks previously inconceivable. Kathy Schrock over at SchrockGuide.net did this perfectly with using cups of coffee. First, the substitution being a cup of coffee, the augmentation turning it into a latte, modification of course making it a latte into a caramel macchiato, and redefinition which of course is a pumpkin spice latte. For more of Kathy's learning guides and other tech smar ideas, go over to shrockguide.net. So you're now probably asking, well Ryan, what does this have to do with app smashing? Well, I've actually decided to come up with a new way to use a smar model in with app smashing to cause something called an app s'more. Now, when people think of a s'more, they're thinking of the old graham cracker, marshmallow, chocolate, and s'more graham cracker, or s'more.com, which is, allows you to spread the word online for easy flyer making. Well, s'more actually works the exact same way by putting together. As this infograph shows, a SMAR s'more is when you actually combine the four parts of the SMAR model together to create an app smash. And this can be done either mobily or desktop. Here's an example of creating an app s'more in action. For the first part, for substitution, I take Trading Cards app to where students would actually create a list of characters they would put together with stats and information profile on trading cards. They would then post these profile pictures on their kid blog where they would talk about this is what they're going to use for a presentation model. Next, to do the modification, they take these trading cards and actually create a sketch note using notability in different forms and all that about what their story or presentation is going to be about. And then finally, using redefinition, they post this sketch note to ThingLink. Using ThingLink, they can actually incorporate all four ways of the SMAR model. They can post the original trading cards onto the ThingLink with direct links to their kid blog post and then, of course, the connectability of Sketchnote that makes the full outline for their thing link, creating a app s'more. Now, while you can design app dice together off the SMAR model and put apps on each side to be part of all these four basic steps of the SMAR model, there's also a fun way to do this using Legos or flat app dice. What is this, you may ask? Tony Vincent recently on his blog at learninginhand.com slash blog slash random messages and links talked about taking a chance on HTML where a user would use a QR code or a direct link to every time they scan or reload a random app would come on. I highly recommend going to this address to check out how this change of the HTML code works. But basically is what happens is you set up the different HTML to be random with a QR code. Once that happens, you put it together on a set of colored Legos, in this case, the same colors as a s'more, and have students stack each one on top of each other. Then, once they've created their app s'more, they then 
scan the QR code to take them to a random app along the SMAR model and then create the app smash using that sequence of events. It's a great way to differentiate learning and take app smashing to a whole new level using the SMAR and even the Bloom taxonomy learning theory. Give it a try today and create those s'mores.